Welcome to my playthrough of Dragon Quest X. Um, I started it without voiceover, but I realized that I do want to do it with, with voiceover and commentary, so... That's, what I, that's how I'm doing it now. Um, I also started as a weddy this time around because... While I like the Puku story, it's just, I want to be a weddy. I don't really, using glamour as a, as a Puku kind of sucks, to be honest, but we're on our way to Gillette Town. And once I get to town, I'll start hiring my other characters so I can go through this with a breeze um... yeah we're almost there I don't, I don't remember which town it wants me to go to next after the first one but I'm gonna be doing all the um basic quests it wants me to do first and then head to Gater Gatara Gateria I don't remember to um do dull board stuff. Uh, na 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 There it is, okay. But yeah, I've played this game like three or four times now and I figure... I'd like to do it again. <laughs> so yeah. Here we go, I think there's a cutscene right once you enter. This is your first visit. Yes, yes, yes. Suddenly felt dizzy. Seems like I'm a little out of practice. Hmm, alright, I'll try... Next, I'll try a town with a harbor. What the? Youch. Ow, oh, sorry. I guess I shouldn't be flying when my head's in the clouds, huh? Are you alright? Glad you're okay. I'm San Vitalia. I'm a fairy, as you can plainly see, but also a seasoned adventurer. Huh? What's a fairy doing in a place like this? Don't you even know where you are? This is the boundary between dreams and reality. Naturally, it's quite strange for a conscious weddy to be here. Sometimes I use this place to think. What I'll do today, what I should have for lunch, that sort of thing. Hmm, seems you're an adventurer as well. That's interesting. What's your name? I see. Miss Azalis, is it? Right then, Miss Azalis. The fairy queen guided us here together for a reason. Please help me fulfill my mission. I'm traveling the world to make everyone happy by inspiring adventurers and the locals to get to know each other. The connections between people are what make us happy. Having conversations, laughing together, helping one another, and forming bonds that are the source of everyone's happiness. In short, I want you to find and talk to the inhabitants of Astoltia that I've chosen. And for that you need to be prepared, right? Shabam. I cast a spell of yellow meetings on you. You'll now you'll see the names of the people I've chosen in yellow. Now all you have to do is find people with yellow names and talk to them. How easy is that? That's pretty easy, I guess. Since you're helping me, I should give you something in return. Right then, how about this? I'll give you a mini medal every time you speak with someone I've chosen. 
Plus, I'll even throw in extra prizes based on the total number of people you've talked to. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah. You're a really agreeable person, aren't you? I'm liking you more by the second. Oh yeah, I should give you this too. Yellow diary. Cute, yeah? And it even matches mine. What's more, these two books have an amazing feature that links what's written in them with each other. If I write the names of the people in Vastoltia here, they'll be listed in the one I gave to you. I'll fill in the names of the people I've chosen so you can check them out anytime from your key items. I'll be at the dock in the, in the port town of Lendor for the time being, so come see me if you feel like it. Be seeing ya. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. It's so shrimple. Yeah, I remember. It's that easy to get zoom stones. It's that easy. Okay. Yeah, no. Um. Yeah. Oh my, you're a traveler, aren't you? Could you do me a favor? North of town, there's a girl named Samya who lives by herself. She's been acting strange lately. If I go, I'll get in trouble, so I want you to go to her home and check on her. If there's nothing wrong, that's all the better. Where's the dog? I know it's coming. Where's the dog? No dog? <laughs> no dog. Let's go. Oh yeah, I wanted to go to the tavern. Whoops. I wanted to... Yeah, this quest right here. Mission girls. Yeah. Yeah. Birdsong nectar, okay. It's easy. Um, I'll also go to the inn and start that quest, and then also go to the bank and start that quest. The bank and the inn are pretty close together. I'll check on that girl in a minute. I'm busy. Please. Yeah, you need a bubble slime. I know it. You know it. We all know it, folks. And you need a she slime. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Fairy mirror. Yeah, that's pretty good. Check out how stuff looks in my fairy mirror. Okay. Register for use. Yep. 
I don't need any of this. I don't need any of this information. Easy peasy. Yeah. I don't need to do that yet. And now... How close is the nearest? Oh, over there, okay. Okay! Give me my bird song nectar. Um item bag materials. I think it's a plant. Yep. go outside and get that she slime real fast and then if it really wants me to kill a bubble slime before I continue the story I'll do it but I'd really rather not <laughs> if I should do that before I or while I'm out and about I guess new quests new quests new quests damn that was weird dead is that easy okay um No, I want to go to the tavern first. And then the inn. And then if it wants me to kill Bubble Slime before I continue the story, then I'll do that. And then I'll actually continue the story. I want to get my characters in here, though. I don't want to have to struggle through the story since this is just a story playthrough. I'm not trying to have issues or bay a gold coin. Thank you. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Place the mage, the second Azalus. I want you, the second mage. Place the warrior. Yuke. And you, my girly pop. And place that priest. Goodbye.
All right, now I go to the inn, do all that, and then, um, oh, I gotta do the depository thing as well. God, I wish this game had sprint sometimes. <laughs> Just for big towns like this. Dull worms worse later on. Yep, I did it. I did it. Yep. It's that easy. I don't need any explanation. Um, and Lenham Fields, okay. Well, at least I can do that. And Bubble Slime should be to the south. Yeah, right there. I see one. Green enemies. Y'all got this. And now I can continue the story, I think. Oh, there's one over here. Here we go. Yeah, take it, take it, go, 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 go. need a swimsuit but I don't need a swimsuit girly all right look real quick yeah I have evac okay I can just do my thing let's go to Samia's house finally I like this little story. Here we go. This town is too big. There, that's warm, isn't it? Uh, who are you? I'm Samya. What can I do for you? I'm the only one here. There aren't any adults. He's the only family I have left. I'll be heading out shortly. Please leave. Oh, that's right. If you're strong enough to have a mark of maturity, you should see the mayor. It seems like he was looking for someone strong. The mayor's house is in the northwest part of town, to the left of the church. Okay. 
Oh, that reminds me, I have to set my zoom stone to here. I mean, I don't really have to, but... Necky. I'll become very acquainted with that well later on, but that's later on. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, damn. Girly. All right, here we go. must be a traveler. Yeah, I am. Mark of maturity. Your daughter. Yeah, I'll do it. That guy's a guest who's been visiting me. Oh, Detective Kinner, this is Azalus. They said they'd take care of things. This is Mr. Kinner from Vernard Castle. He's a researcher at the ruins. Nice to meet you. I'm Kinner of the Vernard Royal Survey Team. Sorry to bother you, but I have to hurry to the Sleeping Wisdom Ruins. Allow me to explain. The Sleeping Wisdom Ruins contain something very precious to us, Weddy. But to my shock, there, se there seem to be signs of abnormality in the precious place. If it's, an if it's a serious anomaly, our future could be in jeopardy. And that's where you come in. There are so many monsters around those ruins I can't even get that I can't even get close to them. So I need you to be sure that Detective Kinner gets to the site safely. I promise that you'll be rewarded handsomely. I have to get ready, so I'll leave you to it. When you leave town, I'll follow you secretly, so don't worry about a thing. Okay. If you get to King Lattice Island where the ruins are, leave for- Yeah, okay, I know, I know how to go. I'm counting on you. Wonder if it'll take me there. Just like directly. It did. Okay, excellent. Yeah. That saves time. This is where you can board a canoe for King Lattice Island, my friend. I am Balok of the Ferryman. Would you like to ride the canoe? Yes. Okay, let's go. Come on, get in. He's so happy. Whoa, what's up with that girl? 
Honestly, it's not safe for a little girl to be out here by herself. Whoa. Damn. Now I've done it. One of the oars snapped clean off. Sorry, friend. I'll go back and fix it, so please wait for me. It seems like this is going to take a little while, friend. Would you mind... If you don't mind, why don't you go check on that girl? I don't know what she's doing here, but make sure you tell that little girl to go back to town. Yeah, I will. I don't need that chest. I think it's just a pink pearl. Here, I brought you some milk. Ah. Uh, there's nothing here, nothing at all. That was nothing. Really, just your imagination. Uh-huh. Please, I'm begging you, don't tell anyone about him. The townspeople are crazy about cats. If they find out, they'll do terrible things to him. Aw. I'm sorry, you're hungry, aren't you? Don't rush. Slowly now. He washed up in the harbor in town. No... No one else had noticed when I found him. I think he was abandoned by his mom and dad, just like me. Damn. So I decided to raise him. So please, don't tell anyone about him. I know I can't keep him here forever, but... Oh, don't cry. Yeah, she said she's going back to town. Yeah, let's go to King Lattice Island. Now if you'll excuse me, now if you'll excuse me. This game is so easy. the music for the weddy like areas it's so pretty Slime stick. Here we go. We're almost there. I wish I had boost right now, like... Not having boost is painful. Here we go.
That's my name. Thanks to you, I've made it this far without being attacked by monsters. Now then, do you see anything unusual around here? Hmm, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the ruins themselves. As expected, my assumption is something that something's wrong with the ripple tuning fork itself was correct. Allow me to explain. I like him. In the depths of these ruins are important item an important item called the ripple tuning fork is housed. Have you ever heard the sea the Song of Grace sung by Queen sung by Dior, Queen of Varenard? The Queen's Song of Grace will purify the waters and grant protection to every living creature in the sea. And the Ripple Tuning Fork plays a vital role in carrying that Song of Grace throughout the Arpa archipelago. What will happen to the Wena Islands if the blessings of the Song of Grace are lost? Something is wrong. We need to go further in. Easiest dungeon of my life. Oh! Almost had me there. They call me the master of, uh, dodging enemies. I'm good at it. Nope. 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 Can't get me. Hi. We finally made it to the Ripple Tuning Fork. Nothing about it looks particularly unusual, but... Oops. That's not good. Yeah, that's pretty, uh... It's not good at all. Oh no, the Tuning Fork has completely stopped. Hmm. Okay, I know what caused the malfunction. Here he goes. Allow me to explain. <laughs> it seems that the crystal fang, the component that amplifies sound waves, has deteriorated. I brought some crystal fangs with me just for such an occasion, but one of them seems to be missing. But worry not. Fortunately, crystal fangs can be found in these very ruins. Oh, how convenient. Would you mind going back and getting me one of these crystal fangs? Crystal fangs are often dropped, but yeah, no. I'll wait here. Thanks in advance. Get over here. Well, let me get this treasure chest first. Ugh, one of those guys as well. Why are you doing that? Just kill the bastards. Thanks. Goodness gracious. Easy. Still no I still don't have one. Die. 
There we go, I got one. Yep. Now it's just time to get out of here. Level 19. Oh, I gotta do skill points. Hi, Warlock. Hey, Warlock. Oh, how's it going? Did you find the Crystal Fang? I did indeed. Can I have it? I can fix the tuning fork as soon as you give it to me. Yeah, I don't see why it's a yes or no question. Oh, great work. Thanks, I appreciate it. Now I can fix the tuning fork. Thanks so much. I'll be busy during the repairs, so let me give you a brief description of this site now. These ruins are said to have been built by Lattice, the 17th king of Varenard, and served as a temple. It's said that King Lattice gave up his throne to his wife and, divide and devoted his life to building this temple. Apparently the temple was built in a place like this on the purpose to protect the Ripple Tuning Fork. But I don't think they risked their lives to build an enormous place just for something like that. I suspect that there was some other greater purpose behind it. It may have something to do with the fact that every king, that every king after King Lattice has been a woman. And... all done. Thanks for your patience. The repairs were completed without incident. Oh, just in time. It seems that Queen Dior has begun to sing the Song of Grace. Would you look at that? With the power of the Song of Grace, holy protection has been given to the surrounding sea water. With this, the waters of Wena Islands won't be rough and will be blessed with plentiful food from the sea. Phew, I'm glad the repair went well. That's a weight off my shoulders. It's all thanks to you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm going back to Gillette first. I, I'll thank you when you get there, so please come back soon. Slow ass walker, use your zoom stone. Now the long walk. Oh, I should probably buy more gear. But I don't think it matters much since I have, like, my super overpowered party. that shrimple. Oh, welcome back. Or maybe Miss Azalis would be more appropriate? I'm glad you're here. I have to return the Varenard castle quickly, as quickly as possible since I have another investigation to conduct. I've left my thank you gift with the mayor. Now, if you'll excuse me. Bye bye. Well then, please take this as thanks. I've added a little extra for you. 1,000 gold. You don't seem pleased. Is that not enough? Ah, I see. So you wanted a key emblem. However, even though I'm the mayor, I can't give you a key emblem for something as small like this. 
I'd be willing to consider, consider it if you did something big enough to save a whole town. Well... <sighs> what I did was pretty big. We have a problem, there's a cat in town. It's Samia, she's got a cat. What's Samia got to do with cats? From some of Samia's house. That's not good. That is not good. At all. I hate how long it is to walk to in between the mayor's house and Samia's house because they have you go back and forth like two or three times. Something like that. I know I'm gonna have to go back to the mayor's house directly after this and it's just like, ugh. What on earth is going on? Hey, Barcel, don't you think- you don't think Samia was attacked by a cat monster, do you? That's not it at all, Mayor. Anyway, have a look at this. This is a cat monster's baby? Don't cry. Samia, what's going on? Did you bring this thing here? My son was wounded by a cat monster. I can't believe she brought one into our town. Is that why there have been so many cat monsters skulking about the town lately? That has to be it. We can't just leave it here like this. Hmm. What's the matter, Mayor? Do something about this kitten. That's right. I have to do something about this. Stop. Act. Put yourself together, Mayor. Well, what can you do? If you mess with this kitten, who knows what the cat monsters will do. That's none of my business. The Mayor can boil it or roast it for all I care. Yeah, get their asses. Good grief. I can't watch this anymore. Hi, Husa. Who are you? I'm just passing through. If you lot can't do something, can't do it, I'll throw them in the ocean for you. Give him back. He's my family. Huh? Family? Don't be an idiot. Hey, wait, are you serious? Obviously. Let's talk about it in my place first. It's not too late. Oh, man. Oh, man. Mayor's house. Yeah, I'll leave her alone. Let's go. Wish I had a sprint button. And there we go. It's not too bad, but it's still annoying to have to go back and forth between Samia's house and the mayor's house. Yuza, you said? Would you please reconsider dumping that cat into the ocean? You want me to give it back to the kid? Not at all. 
It's true that Samia doesn't have a family and I can't understand how she feels, but... Maybe this is why the cat monster has been prowling around the town. We can't just leave it here. But if they found out that you dumped it into the ocean, who knows what they'd do to me. Hmm, you're here too? Huh, what was it? What is it, Azalus? I didn't know you came to this town too. Seems to meet again sooner than expected. You two know each other? Not too long ago, me and Azalus fought over the title of Shelner. Well, I had no idea. Allow me to introduce myself once more, then. I'm Kiel's father, Volan. They already knew that. Kiel told them. It, is that so? More importantly, Azalus, why don't you come with me for a bit? I'm thinking about returning this little guy to his parents. It, it'd be a pain to find them on my own. Want to give me a hand? Why don't you go in to dump it into the ocean? Why you gotta bring that up, man? That just put the town in danger, wouldn't it? I don't want to have to babysit you, too. Sorry, I appreciate it. Head to a place called Cat Island. It's said that the cat monsters in the area live there in groups. I heard there's a more important place in the far side of the island called the Giant Cat's Nest. If you go there, you might find a clue. Rather than having no plan at all, I'll go. This is an official request from me. If I'm not mistaken, you wanted a key emblem, right? Saving the town's an important job. If you do it well, you'll get your key emblem. Alright, I think we're set. Come on. Stop. I'm going to raise him. You're... You little brat. You were eavesdropping, weren't you? I'm his mother, so you have to give him back. I don't have time for this pipsqueak. Let's go. Give me a break. If you have to go, take me with you. Oh, so annoying. Alright, alright, I'll take you already. I don't want to leave her alone just for her to sneak up on me later. Seems you have to split up. We've got too much baggage to carry. I'm going to keep an eye on the kid. You take care of the kitten. Key item. Kitten key item. Oh my god. Come on, let's go. Stay close, okay? So you have the giant cat's nest. Don't be late. I won't be late. She gotta walk so fast to keep up with them. I wonder if it'll take me there again. Obviously not as close as I want, but... It is what it is. Oh, hey. I doubt it'll take me straight there, but... Probably, like, in front of the... Yeah. I figured that was the case. Yeah, take me to Cat Island. Damn, you're gonna go? Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna avoid all combat if I can. I I'm not in the mood to fight. I'm feeling a little bit pacifist run. Nope. I think this way is the quickest way, but I don't think it matters much. We'll get there when we get there.
I like Cat Island. I should probably talk to these, like, cats that you can actually talk to, but... I'm lazy. Nope. Uh, which way is quicker? It doesn't matter. They don't call it Cat Island for nothing. Every cat in the world lives on Cat Island. Yeah, I'm almost there. I'm gonna be angry if I get this far and then I have to fight an enemy. And there it is. Cat Rebellio. My son, Catrick, still hasn't been found, has he? Yeah, forgive me, Meow. We're pretty sure the, weddy are, the weddies are behind this. I've had some of our people searching around the town, but the tale's gone cold. And just who are you? Don't you know that this is the room of, the, of Cat Mama, the queen of all of Cat Island? Queen Mama is deeply grieved at the loss of her son. Leave now while I'm still feeling merciful, Meow. Seems you beat me to it. I guess my baggage was heavier than yours. You're one of those weddy, aren't you? If you're a spy, I'll wipe the floor with you. Don't get your fur in a twist, hairball. We're just here to make a delivery. Hairball, I'll make you rust on my blade, Meow. Wait, Cat Rebellio. Yes, my queen, but these people are... I ordered you to wait. Yes. What brings you all here? We're here to return one of your people. Hey, show the little cat to this big one. Yep. That's... Oh, those eyes, that face, that loveliness, there's no mistaking it. That's my boy, Catrick. You're still alive after all. Come now, give him to me. Give him back. Wait just a minute, Meow. How dare you, Meow? Are you trying to turn all my pa plans into kitty litter? Plans, huh? Oh no, Meow. Well, whatever. It can't be helped. In a situation like this, I'll just have to go all out. One on my plan, do you? The first step's to take Catrick into the sea and kill him. Then, while you're all wallowing, while you're wallowing in misery, I'll take the throne. Rebellio, how dare you? But because of you lot, that plan failed, Meow. In that case, I'll just use brute force. First, I'll start with you. Then, I'll deal with Catrick and Mama. This guy's bad news. Give the kitten to me. Ooh, I'll protect the kitten and saw me. You li I'll leave that hairball to you. Don't call me hairball. I'll beat you to a bloody pulp. Yeah, well. He's gonna kill me. A cat above. Damn, you don't gotta do all that shit. Just kill him. Shoot him. Destroy him. Oh wow, yeah. Cat Rebellion's defeated by... 
Two giant fireballs, blunt. Okay. Can't believe I'm losing to someone like you. Since it's come to this, I'll just take Cat Trick with me. You're off your rocker. I'll never kill a cat. That's what I promised my grandfather before he died. Get out of here now. Look, you're up. But Brother Husa, this kitten is my family. You know what it's like to miss your parents more than anyone, don't you? You know how lonely that is. Are you going to keep this kitten away from his parents? That's... Yeah, do it. Give him back. Young Weddy, you're the one who saved my Catrick's life, aren't you? This kitten washed up on the harbor in town. I thought he was abandoned. I was going to make him my family. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. All this was because of my foolish servant. You aren't the one at fault here. You've given Catrick the same love as I mu that I've given him, haven't you? In that case, I must thank you. Now you can have him back. Oh, thank you, my son. I'll never lose you again. And thank you as well. You're the one who brought Katrick here after all. Because of you, you were able to stop Rebellio's rampage. Especially you, the one called Husa. What do you mean? I too swore an oath to my predecessor. I promised that I would never kill a Wedi. In the ancient past, it is said that the heroes of the giant cat tribe and the heroes of the Wedi tribe joined hands in battle against the great evil. I'm not interested in that sort of thing. Is that so? Regardless, I'm going to keep that promise too. However, there will be those who shall not agree, agree with me. They may turn against you. You may do as you please with them. We're done here. Let's go home. I've got to return to the mayor. Yeah. Partings are best kept quick. Come on, let's go. Goodbye, my... No. Goodbye, Catrick. Is that easy? Give me that bonus orb. Give me that key emblem. I'm so stoked. Wait, yeah, Mayor Sass, okay. I just know for the later segments of this game I'm gonna need to take notes. Have a piece of paper at the ready to help me with the puzzles because I 
just suck at him. Really. Like, I've needed a guide all three times. Oh, Aslis, I already heard the story from Husa. I heard you were able to return the kitten to its parents, safe and sound. The cat monsters that have been prowling about the town have completely vanished. The townspeople are relieved. Don't get the wrong idea, Mayor. I don't think they'll come to the town looking for that kitten anymore, but they're still monsters after all. Even so, the fact that there are no more cat monsters in town is a blessing in and of itself. As Mayor, it's my job to make sure the people of Gillette feel safe. How very magnanimous of you. You've done an outstanding job. You are deserving of our town's key emblem. Now please take the blue key emblem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course you get one too. Here, take it, Husa. Don't need it. What? Both is key emblem. It's easy to gain the trust of other countries. It's a very useful thing to have. I'm not gonna rely on something like that. I'll get people to accept me with my own strength. That's what I decided on when I left Lane Village. I see. Well, if that's the case, I won't force you. Do as you please. Thanks for keeping me company, Aslis. I've gotta make a quick stop, so I'll be heading out first. What a strange man. You will con turn, continue your journey, won't you? If you return, if you ever in the neighborhood, stop by this town again. Take care. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of experience. What the hell? Level 27. Jeez. Mail has arrived from who? Mail has arrived from what? There's a mailbox here. I can't see it. Oh, over there. Okay. the mail is I wonder what the mail is yeah yeah to all promising adventurers who have at least one key emblem are you interested in wielding your brilliance in a Batuan fight if you are interested, please, please come to the Legends Headquarters at North Portlander Inn. Okay. Um, 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 um. I'll do the hollow scene and then cut the episode off. It wants me to go to Mount Gatara first, so I'll do that. It's easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Go to Gatara, yeah. Slime. Yep. Yeah, I got my pass. Yep. I 
I like Carlo. He's such a fun guy. Here he is. Seems like you died once and came back from the dead. Reanimation in the train station. You want to know how I know that? My name's Hollow, the Wandering Sage. The wisest of the wise who knows everything going on in Ostothia. With my with me eyesight, it's easy to know if you made the list. Now that I told you my name, I think it's e I think it's courty courtesy to ask for yours. I'd like to know your name, please. Hmm, Azalus, eh? A bit old-fashioned. Primitive yet elegant, just like Athene. Your home village of Athene is located in the middle of Lindersia, sealed off by Nurgle, the Netherlord. And it was Lindersia that was that the light came out of that the light of the hero's awakening was shining. You gotta get over there, lassie. I can guide you there. How many have you collected? Oh fuck yum. Sorry, lassie, it looks like I wasn't clear enough. What I mean what I meant was how many key emblems have you got? That'll let me know your progress and abilities. I have one. By the gods, Lassie, that's all? Makes me a bit worried for the future. Oh well. No matter. If that's all you got, you can still get the rest. Just focus your efforts on getting the rest of the emblems. Once you got enough and your abilities are up to par, I'll tell you how to break the seal of Lundersia. The stop is Mount Gatara. The space between the car and the platform is wide. Please watch your stuff as you get off. Oh, we're already we're here already. The Ark of the Earth is a pretty conven good and convenient vehicle, don't you think? Shoot, I was supposed to buy the famous Gatara pig buns at the station. No time to be sitting around. So I bid you adieu for today, lassie. See you again with the tracks of destiny cross. Until then, keep collecting those key emblems. I will. Yeah, yeah, and with that, I think I'm gonna cut off this episode right here. Uh, in the next one, we're gonna do Guitara and all that that entails. See ya!